Hello, how to solve 4 power x plus 10 power x is equal to 25 power x to find the value of x. So from this our equation, which is 4 power x plus 10 power x is equal to 25 power x. So first we divide by 4 power x in both sides. Then 4 power x divided by 4 power x is 1. Then plus this exponent divided by this exponent, they have common power of x. So it will be 10 over 4 bracket power of x is equal to, also this divided by this exponent, they have common power of x. So it will be 25 over 4 bracket power of x. Then, the next step, our equation will be 1 plus, to simplify here, 10 divided by 2 is 5, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So it will be 5 over 2 bracket power of x is equal to, in here 25 is same as 5 square over 4 is same as 2 square, then bracket power of x. Then, in next step, our equation will be 1 plus this 5 over 2 bracket power of x is equal to, in here power of 2 is common, so it will be 5 over 2 bracket power of 2, then bracket power of x. Then, in next step, our equation will be 1 plus this 5 over 2 bracket power of x is equal to, in here we'll exchange power of x inside the bracket, power of 2 outside the bracket. So it will be 5 over 2 bracket power of x bracket power of 2. Then in next step, in here 5 over 2 bracket power of x is common. So we will let u is equal to 5 over 2 bracket power of x. Then our equation will be 1 plus, in here we'll substitute u is equal to, in here is u, so it will be u square. Then in next step, we take this u to the right side and 1 to the right side. So it will be u square, then minus u, then minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, from this quadratic equation, coefficient of u square is 1, so a is equal to 1, and coefficient of u is negative 1, so b is equal to negative 1, and the constant is negative 1, so c is equal to negative 1. Then from quadratic formula, u is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Then in next step, u is equal to negative b is negative 1. Then plus or minus square root of b square negative 1 bracket square. Then minus 4 times a is 1. Then times c, c is negative 1. Then over 2 times a is 1. Then in next step, u will be equal to negative and negative 1, it will be positive 1, plus or minus square root of negative 1 square is 1. Then negative 4 times 1 times negative 1 is positive 4 over 2 times 1 is 2. Then in next step, u will be equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 4 is 5 over 2. Then in next step, from here, we have two solutions. So when it's negative, it will be u is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. And the second solution, when it's positive, it will be u is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. But then, these two solutions are in terms of u. 
So we have to find the value of x. Before we let u is equal to 5 over 2 bracket power of x. So in next step, we will substitute the value of u is equal to 5 over 2 bracket power of x. Then we'll compare these two equations. So it will be 5 over 2 bracket power of x is equal to this 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. Then this exponent of 5 over 2 bracket power of x is positive, but this is negative. So positive cannot be equal to negative. Therefore, this solution is rejected. So we will deal with this second solution. From u is equal to this 5 over 2 bracket power of x. Then we will compare these two equations. Then it will be 5 over 2 bracket power of x is equal to this 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Now, in next step, to find the value of x from this equation, which is in the form of a power of x is equal to b. So, from this form, we will apply logarithmic rule. Then, it will be x is equal to log of b base of a. Then, from our equation, it will be x is equal to log of this 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, then base of 5 over 2. So, this is the final answer for the value of x in terms of logarithm. Or, in another way, to find the value of x will be equal to log of this log of 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 then over log of 5 over 2. Then by using calculator x will be equal to we substitute the value of log of this over log of this so to be 0 0.525. So, this is also the final answer for the value of x in this problem. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps to miss out. Subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.